Good morning. So I'm coming, I'm coming out to survey the, uh, the damage I did from yesterday. I'm staring at these two big posts sticking out of the ground that weren't there yesterday. Or weren't there the day before. You know what I mean. I'm going to bring the hose at some point and hose them off. Hose off all the dirt I got all over them. I'm going to take my little sawzall and cut off any loose chunks. <laughs> that is solid. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting it to be that solid. <clears throat> well. Jiminy. Okay, I'll get the level back out and make sure everything's good. I'll push the dirt into this hole. I'll come over here. I'm just gonna kind of poke around with the bucket and see what happens. And the plan is to make like a little concrete footing here. I'm gonna set my two six by six post bases in that cement. We'll see how far I get today. One other thing about these guys is that the gate is about four feet. So somewhere around here, I was going to cut them at an angle, both of them, like that. And then probably put in three cedar boards a piece. And I was planning on using just stainless steel nails. And But first, I think I was going to tear off the rest of the bark and just try to clean them up a little bit if I can. <laughs> they weren't that ugly when I brought them over. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna go fire up the backhoe, let it warm up, and get everything else set up and get rolling.
There's my cleaned out spot for my form. So the idea of what I'm gonna do is just make a like a three by three, uh, three foot, three foot deep by three foot tall by one foot, around one foot wide box and it'll have one step in it. So, and one step will have one concrete anchor and the other step will have the other concrete anchor. I'm gonna eat some lunch and then I'm gonna kind of just make a little list of the parts I need and then I'm gonna run over and grab them from the wood shop, make my form and I'll set it in place and hopefully pour some concrete into it. Okay, now just the plywood. Okay, I made some quick chicken scratches. I'll just draw it out here, this plywood, and these will make the box. Okay, so I got them so that they're cupping and bowing in, so as the concrete pushes on them, they'll just, they won't be so bowed out since it's only half inch plywood. So those will go like that. There you go. This one goes right in the back. I'll screw it together so that it's easy to take apart.
First thing I did was I set it in there. And then, you know, I kept checking to make sure it's back where I wanted it. And I basically prop it up with rocks until I get it sitting nice and level. And then I kind of shim it, shim all the corners with rocks while trying to keep it in the same basic stance. And so once I get it pretty plumb with the rocks, then I throw braces on. And I just threw four on. You probably don't need that many, but better safe than sorry. So it feels pretty solid, doesn't want to move anywhere, you know. And when I lay this on there, it's pretty nice and level down here. And on this way. This. These sides. So, you know, that's about as pretty good. That's about as good as you could get it, considering the wood isn't perfect either. So, next step is I'm going to take, I got a bunch of scrap rebar, and I'm just going to kind of throw it in there, bend it in a couple places, and I'm thinking just I'll make a couple of L's, and as I'm going, I'll kind of throw it in. But I just want to have the rebar ready. And once I got the rebar, then I'll make sure I get the, the post hold downs. And I might get to this, uh, might get to pouring concrete soon. I just took that one long piece and just bent it all around. You can see that I made a hook on the bottom. And I'm thinking that this is just the right length. A few inches of concrete on the bottom. And I can pull this up and just kind of rod it, make sure it's sitting up off the bottom. And slide this right through the bottom of the, uh, the other hold down. Speaking of those post hold downs, I should grab them. Okay, one last detail I was going to do before I pour. I got these to slide in. Give me a nice beveled corners on all these front corners here. That's not going to work. So, I guess through the front. Just go down here. Mosquitoes, go away. One should be enough. All right, so here's the six by six full space I got. So the idea to do something like that and the other one the other one I'll set about three inches back or well about two inches from here but yeah the final step so I got my vibrator ready since I'm dumping a bunch of different batches that'll help make everything be one and take out air bubbles and stuff like that. So I'm gonna soak this wood to keep it from sticking so much to the, or the concrete from sticking so much to it. Normally you would use like foam oil, 
some people use even diesel but that is just like you gotta have you gotta give some shit about the environment i mean my god just spraying diesel and just motor oil used motor oil too like come on i don't care if it works quit poisoning the environment water will work just fine anyways rant over now i'm just gonna wheel it over and i've got a little bin and i'll dump it in the bin and i'll just and uh i did the math and it should be around 14 bags of concrete something like that um it's basically around seven cubic feet if you measure by volume and each 60 pound bag is roughly half a cubic foot so roughly 14. it's always a little more though but because it's going to bulge out a little but i got plenty all right let's get this over with Well, there she is. And the mosquitoes are out. So it's still a little wet. So we'll go in and take a little break. I'll come back out and check on these hold downs, make sure they're, they're still in the right spot and haven't sunk down or moved. Ah, yeah, these mosquitoes are going to eat me alive. They're saying, finish it up, wrap it up. <laughs> okay, so I'm done. Just gotta clean up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I can see that one's already sinking. So I made it a little wet just so that it would all gel together, but I probably made it a little too wet. But that stuff is also old cement. You saw me dropping the bags a bunch, help break up the uh, the old all the you know the hard bags. Once you drop it a few times, though, it, it all pretty much breaks up but anyway so I added a little extra water and yada 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 uh yeah oh yeah and I've uh about halfway through the day this nasty cold has come on my throat is killing me as if I haven't been sick and had enough dental problems this month so I'm definitely taking tomorrow off Oh, yeah, so clean this up, go take a shower, oh, covered in concrete and oh, I hate concrete. Oh buddy, Avery's nearing his bedtime too. Anyways, see you tomorrow. What do you think? Yeah? Pretty nice. Dusty? Yep, probably. Yep. Let's keep going. I don't want you to breathe in all that dust, okay?